In this example, we're going to calculate the income tax owed by an individual whose details are given here. So it's a single individual, a single taxpayer. So we're looking at the column in the tax table that has single or married filing separately. In this case, it's a single person. We're given their gross income, which is the total amount of money they receive from all of their salary, tips, etc. And then we're given some deductions and a tax credit. Now remember, to calculate the tax owed, we start with the gross income, we subtract the deductions first, and we'll talk more about that in a second, and that gives us the taxable income, and then we do like we did in the last example, and divide the money into buckets, and calculate the tax owed based on the tax rates that are given in the tax table. But after we do that, we apply the tax credit. So the deductions are calculated first, then we get the taxable income, then we calculate the tax owed, and then also we remove from that final tax owed any tax credits. So the tax credits will be used at the very end. Now as far as the deductions go, remember that we can either take itemized deductions or we can use the standard deduction, and we'll pick whichever one is more advantageous. In other words, whichever one ends up being a larger total, that's the one that we'll subtract from our gross income. So if we add up these deductions for this person, we have 3,000 plus 6,000 plus 1,500 plus 300, and that's a total of 10,800, which is less than the standard deduction. So this person would be better off taking the standard deduction rather than the itemized deductions. So we'll use the standard deduction and subtract that from the gross income to get the taxable income. So the taxable income here will be their gross income, $65,000, minus the deduction, $12,400, which works out to $52,600. That's their taxable income. So now we need to calculate the taxes owed on a taxable income of $52,600. So we'll separate it into buckets, and again, the first 9875 goes in this first bucket, then everything from there to 40,125 goes into the next bracket and so on. So in the first bucket will have 9,875, in the second bucket will have 30,250, and in the third bucket we'll have everything from 40,125 up to 52,600. That works out to 12,475 which means we're going to take 10% of 9875, we're going to take 12% of 30,250, and we're going to take 22% of 12,475. And the sum of all those will be the tax owed, at least initially. So the initial tax owed is $7,362. But now we'll subtract at the very end the tax credit. So if we subtract $500 from this, the final tax that's owed is $6,862. So once again, for a full tax problem like this, start with the gross income, subtract the deductions, either itemized or standard, whichever is larger, and then divide the taxable income into those brackets. Find the correct percentage of each one and add them all up. And then if there are any tax credits, subtract them at the very end, and the final result is the tax owed after all is said and done.